Okay, today I thought we'd play with the Venus robot. This is from the uh, 1960s, I believe the early 1960s. It's made in Japan. It has a very nice colorful box. Here I'll turn it sideways so we can get even a, more of it on screen. As you can see, got your made in Japan. Got a guy with a, trying to get the glares off the picture, guy with a gun. Got the robot uh, towering through there. It says battery operated remote control. What do we got here? Another picture. And capture the same. And it even has the uh, cardboard insert in there. I believe this was new stock, not played with, because it's about as many as they get. The remote is uh, one of those living hinges, or if you will, plastic hinges. I call them living hinges because it lives until they break and then, then it's dead. Every time you bend this, it's uh, one step closer to uh, breaking and coming apart. One D-cell battery in there, simple motor, it's a regular uh, ratchet wheel shuffle walker. And that's about what you get with one boat, one one battery. You get a robot that's, that sort of kind of walks. Of course the wire is very stiff. I'm trying not to bend it. I don't want to break it or anything. The arms are only posable. They don't uh, mechanically move. Body is of course plastic, but this is a, a metal plate here. There's a metal plate there. See on the back it does say if we can get the lighting right. You got your made in Japan with a metal plate there. Here's a close up of that plastic hinge. I'm not closing it all the way because I don't want to move the hinge any more than, uh, than necessary, obviously. So you got your standard ratchet wheels, simple motor, crank design on the inside. I'm sure at the time it was a very inexpensive toy meant to. Uh, give the kids some pleasure for a day or two or a week or two <laughs> but uh, here we are oh so many years later and the sucker still uh, still works still looking good you got the Venus robot in about as minty shape as you're gonna find